Good morning. I am Vijay Nilekani and I am representing the India Film Society here today. I am sure you have been hearing about it from Ramesh over the last few weeks and I want to share a little bit more about what it's all about. It's a film society in the DC area and we have our first film on Saturday, February the 13th at 2 p.m. at Georgetown University at the ICC Auditorium. I'm here with my colleagues from Georgetown University, Sam Rob Fogel and Shereen Joshi. Georgetown has partnered with us on this important program. And Sam, you want to share a little bit about Georgetown's sure. involvement with our program? Yeah, thank you very much, Vijay. Uh, I'm delighted to be here with uh, my colleague, uh, Shereen, uh, to uh, invite the community to come and join us. Uh, for the first, uh, what we hope will be many monthly uh, film screenings at Georgetown as a part of the India Film Society Georgetown collaboration. Uh, Georgetown is delighted to open the gates of our campus uh, to the community to come and watch films uh, and to be a part of a broader effort at the university uh, to increase our engagement on South Asia and India in particular. We had noticed that for the past several years, there was a real increase in the demand for new courses, new activities relating to India and South Asia. What we found is that the students have been driving the interest. Um, in the past two years, they have, you know, actually in the past 15 years, they have been running a cultural show called Rangila, which is run at Diwali in, in the month of November every year. It is a huge success. 2,000 people buy tickets, 500 people participate from every corner of the campus. And that really builds a sort of appetite for um, activities on, on India. They have also set up a book club where once a month we get together and we read a book um, by a South Asian author. And um, this has also been a, a significant success. The Film Society was the next step that the students were very keen on. Um, our courses on India tend to be, in, you know, multidisciplinary. Um, we teach on economics, politics, religion, history, society, policy, and there was a real demand for film to bridge some of the disciplinary boundaries and to bring people together to have a dialogue and an exchange of ideas, not only between people at the university, but also to bring in the community and have a real two-way exchange. India Film Society was started by seven individuals in the greater metropolitan area of Washington, D.C. to expose the local audience to rarely seen films that are not typically available in the commercial market or even on Netflix. And yet there are little gems uh, that have won acclaim in film festivals and so on. So it's a platform to show that. We hope to show all kinds of films, documentaries, uh, mm -hmm. feature films, uh, we plan to have film festivals that in invite directors, film critics, have seminars on film. Although the focus is going to be on India, Indian films, we are open to audience um, suggestions. And we would also have films from other parts of South Asia as well. Uh, we plan to have uh, post-film discussions and explore the film in more depth. And in that setting, we feel that the academic involvement and perspectives mm -hmm. are going to be very valuable. Well, at Georgetown, we're delighted to be able to do this because as a Jesuit university, we believe in educating the whole person. And so that means that there are classroom activities uh, that should be enriching uh, to the mind, but that we should also give a chance for our students to interact with ideas uh, in other ways. And that's in film. What, what better way uh, than to, to see a great movie, uh, to talk with uh, professors and with others from the community, and uh, we're really excited about that. And the way we're going to structure this and make it possible is we are going to, um, every time we select a film, think about a faculty member whose expertise can be drawn upon to introduce that film and then structure a discussion after the film is screened to really help the audience connect with the main themes and the messages and the meaning of the film. Um, the faculty member will change. Every screening will, will have a different person. 
And from time to time, it will not be faculty. But our local expert may be someone from the local community. And, you know, establishing that partnership is very important to us. And I think ultimately the spillovers will be in the classroom as well as outside the classroom. So I think it's very important that we can all rent DVDs and we can go to beautiful new cinema houses around the city. But there's something different about joining mm -hmm. a community of people and ha entering into a discussion about it. Absolutely. And I think that's, uh, at Georgetown, one of the things we're most excited about. India Film Society is going to be the first of its kind in the area that is going to be showing films around the year. There are other organizations in the area that do show of Indian films, but they either have short one-week festivals once a year, mm -hmm. or they are episodic, or they mix it with theater and and uh, other uh, music and other programs. We are going to be focused on cinema as an art form, and so we are going to be showing films monthly, and that's going to be unique uh, in, in the D.C. area. also like to mention that this is a membership-driven organization, and it will be funded through membership dues. Uh, we would like to uh, direct you to our website, which has the membership information, and uh, encourage you to go to indiafilmsociety.org. Sam, uh, I think uh, the mission of India Film Society is very synergistic with what Georgetown University is doing, and it fits into your overall posture and interests. Yes, I think that's true. Uh, in fact, we have, over the last few months, uh, hosted a range of activities, uh, some that uh, Shireen mentioned, but also we've been trying to bring speakers to our campus. Uh, some may remember that uh, Minister of Education from India, Kapil Sibyl, uh, came mm -hmm. to give a major talk on higher education in India. We've had conversations about uh, South, Asian, uh, South Asia and U.S. diplomacy. So the Film Society really fits into a broader effort at the university uh, to bring these, uh, the ideas, the history, the politics, the economics uh, of the region uh, to the Washington community and uh, to really integrate it into uh, the courses that we can offer to our students. We, of course, have a lot of students who are either Indian or of Indian origin or South Asian origin, but beyond that, there is tremendous interest in South Asia, and we are really trying to meet that demand in various ways, and um, this is one of them. Uh, all our uh, programs are going to be scheduled on the weekends, and it makes it much easier to get to Georgetown on weekends. That's right. Uh, Georgetown University is actually much easier to reach on the weekends, and we've done a lot to make it accessible. Our Southwest parking garage is going to be free during the screenings, which you can access from Canal Road. Plus, the starting time at 2 o'clock on the 13th will, we hope, allow people to come and enjoy the area around the campus uh, to enjoy a nice lunch or walk along the waterfront. And so we hope that it will be a very nice afternoon for people. I wanted to add that right after the screening of the movie, we will have our discussion with a Georgetown faculty member. And right after that, we will have a wine and cheese reception to which we would encourage everybody to join and uh, mingle, share ideas, give us feedback. And um, if you have thoughts on other movies that you would like to see screened, um, we would appreciate um, hearing from you. And um, we otherwise, we will look forward to just talking over wine and cheese. Once again, I would like to take this opportunity to invite you to our screening of Yatra on Saturday, February the 13th at 2 p.m. More information is available on our website, and we look forward to seeing you there.